UFC Fight Night 85 Hunt vs. Mir The UFC heads back to Brisbane for the first time since December 2013 with Fight Night 85 Hunt vs. Mir. Mark Hunt hailed from New Zealand and fights out of Sydney, Australia, where he is an MMA legend and he headlined the first Brisbane show. He will take on Frank Mir, the former two-time UFC heavyweight champion who had a great 2015 despite ending it with a loss. The co-main event comes from the welterweight division, where Neil Magny takes on Dr. Lombard. For the heavyweight bat of the night, Hunt, who's 11-10-1, scored a TKO win over Antonio Bigfoot Silva in November and he loves to put on a show. Only three of his fights have gone to a decision, but he has four knockout losses and six submission losses. That is right up the alley for Mirror with a score of 18-10, whose eight submission wins is the most in UFC heavyweight history. Mir knocked out Bigford and Todd Duffy, then some believed he was robbing a decision loss to Andrei Arlovsky. Mir is rolling right now and if he does not get caught, he should make Hunt tap. Our pick for this fight is Mir. For the welterweight bat of the night, Magny, who 17-4, has won two fights via split decision, although his win over Kevin Gastelum in November came on short notice. Magny is well-rounded and has never been knocked out, but that might be tested against Lombard, who's 34-4-1 with 2-0 contest, who has not fought since last January when he failed a drug test after beating Josh Bergman. The judo artist was suspended and he will want to put on a good show. Lombard might be the strongest man at 170 pounds. Our pick for this fight is Lombard. For the middleweight bat of the night, Tihuna, who's 16-8, has lost 3 straight, but he's from New Zealand, so he gets a pass. He badly needs a win with two submission losses and a knockout loss in that time, but Tihuna has 10 knockout wins and will be tough for Boss with a record of 10-2 who was knocked out by Thiago Santos in the first round of his USC debut in June. It could be a long night for Boss. Our pick for this fight is Tihuna. For the second welterweight bat of the night, O'Reilly, with a record of 6-1 and 1-0 contest, comes from Melbourne and fights out of Brisbane, so he will have the crowd on his side. Jobin, with a record of 12-4, is coming off a knockout loss to Albert Tumanov and even though he's 3-4 in the UFC, his win over Matt Dreyer is a little tainted because of a knee to a groin. O'Reilly will put up a fight, but Jobin is a powerful striker. Our pick for this fight is Jobin. For the second middleweight bat of the night, Kelly, with a record of 10-1, is an Olympian judoka from Melbourne who rebounded from his first pro loss with a decision over Steve Montgomery in November. Junior, with a record of 5-1 and won a contest, won the Ultimate Fighter Brazil 3 tournament and has gone from heavyweight to middleweight. He is coming off a no contest because of an accidental eye poke against Kevin Casey and he is a great jiu-jitsu artist. However, give it to Kelly because of the crowd. Our pick for this fight is Kelly. Click over right now and check out all the odds on the board and make a few wagers on BetDSI.com.